Hi, I'm Dr. Tim, founder of Dr. Tim's Aquatics. Our NP Active Pearls have quickly become a popular way to maintain low nitrate and phosphate levels in reef, saltwater, and even freshwater aquariums. So maybe you're thinking about adding them to your system. This video is going to tell you what you need to do, what you need to buy, and some tips for successfully setting up your NP Active Pearl system. So first, you need the pearls, and you're going to need a reactor to put the pearls in. Pearls don't work by just throwing them in an aquarium or throwing them in the back of your filter or putting them in a bag. You're also going to need some type of a pump to fluidize the reactor bed of pearls. And we recommend our Waste Away because these bacteria will help seed the pearls, getting them working faster and getting your nitrate and phosphate levels down sooner. So now that you have the pearls, when you open them up, you're going to find that there's a direction book and troubleshooting guide, which we highly recommend that you read first and store somewhere for future reference. What this is going to tell you is that you have to start off slow. So say that you have an 80 gallon aquarium. We recommend a quarter cup of pearls per 20 gallons. So that would be a cup of pearls that you'd want to have in the reactor. But you want to start off slow. If you add too many pearls too fast, you'll probably get cloudy water, which is not what you want. So we recommend a third of the amount that you would need. So in this case of an 80 gallon aquarium, you're going to need a cup. We recommend that you measure out a third of a cup. And then you're going to put them in your reactor. You can wet them or rinse them beforehand if you want, but it's really not necessarily. So pour into your reactor your third cup. Replace the screen, the lid, and get everything hooked up. Now, once you have it running, what you want to do is adjust the flow so that there's a gentle tumbling. A mistake that people make is they have the pearls vigorously moving, and all that does is cause the pearls to prematurely wear out because they're rubbing against each other. You're not letting the bacteria that are going to grow on the pearls establish themselves. Okay? Then you can add a few mils depending on your tank. For an 80 gallon tank I would say 20 mils of waste away because those bacteria will seed the pearls and start the reaction faster. How this process works is that bacteria are going to grow on the pearls and consume the pearls and as the bacteria grow they're removing the nitrate and phosphate from the water. And what you want to do though is you want to top up the pearls. As I said, the pearls are going to be consumed. You don't want to wait until they're all gone to add more pearls because you're going to have to go through the reestablishment process. So you'll see that your bed of pearls is getting smaller and smaller as time goes by. So every couple of weeks what you want to do is top up your pearls. And as the directions say when you first start up, I said you start with a third of amount. In this case of an 80 gallon tank, a third of a cup. About two weeks later, you would add another third of a cup. In another two weeks, you'd add another third of a cup. So over about a month's period, now you're up to that level that was recommended, which the 80 gallon aquarium is a cup. They'll start seeding in as little as seven to 10 days if you use the waste away, and you should be able to see a drop in your nitrate and phosphate levels. Then, as time goes by, the bed of pearls is going to get consumed. Now how fast the pearls get consumed depends upon your system. If you have a fish only tank and you're feeding a lot, the pearls are going to get consumed much faster because you're producing more nitrate and phosphate from the feed. If you have a coral reef tank that's more corals and just a few fish, the pearls are going to last nine months, maybe even a year because you don't have a large nutrient load. Just keep them slowly moving and you will find that they will be able to maintain a low nitrate and phosphate level in your system. Thanks and good fish keeping.